Hi, I'm Susanna, Eugene Textile Center. Um, a common problem that people have is the knobs falling out of their um, baby wolf or wolf pup or mighty wolf plumes. I'm going to show you why that happens and how to fix it um, once it does. Um, first of all, when you fold up your loom, you only need to turn this um, just a couple of turns, um, not too far. No farther than that, otherwise you just need it to be loose enough to go up and down. Otherwise, this will fall out. So let me show you. I'm going to continue turning it. And now, oh, this is what happens. Once your knob falls out, you need to be very careful putting it back in because it, um, first of all, you have this little cat piece that goes in here, but more importantly, right there. Do you guys see this little piece of metal? I usually use my pinky finger to get it up. Do you see this piece of metal? This is what you need to be screwing into. If you simply put this back in, there's nothing for your knob to screw into. When you put it back together, you have to screw back into that um, little piece of metal that floats in there. So to put it together, you have your knob, you have your T-nut slide, and you have your two braces. Make sure you put them the correct way. And you're going to stick your knob screw through here. If you have a little trouble, you can give it a little squeeze. Get that in. Now, you're going to take your T-nut, your little top hat. Make sure to go in towards the top. And you, if you push your screw, your knob in all the way, you aren't going to be able to get that in. So you're going to just put it through your braces and then into the uh, little slide. Now this is the trickiest part. I use my pinky because I have little tiny fingers. Um, you can also use a knitting needle or a pencil um, or something like that. You're going to lift up that piece of metal so you can get your screw into the, um, into the little hole and you're going to put it in, start turning. Ah, now we're good. So when you open your loom, um, just don't unscrew it far enough. You never have to do that. And you're just going to lift up. And it doesn't take more than just one turn around to loosen it enough to open and close your loom and then tighten it back up again. And then you won't lose your little your little teenuts. If you do, you can go into our website, eugenetextilesister.com, and buy replacements. Because you know what? Despite your best efforts, uh, they do get lost. Anyway, thanks for watching, and stick around for the next video.